Have you guys seen this debt collapse in Georgia? This is serious business here. People are dying every year because of debt collapses. This one just happened recently. It's all over social media. So we're going to watch these videos and I'm gonna talk about them. I think this really needs to be talked about. A lot of people are taking this for granted that maybe their deck's just fine, but it's becoming a serious issue. People are dying every year because of debt collapses. And we're gonna show you how this one particularly happened and we're gonna show you why it happened and how to prevent that from happening to you. All right, so uh, we found the lady's page that has all th these uh, videos on it from the time it started till the time after it happened where she was taking video of different sections and she, I don't know if it was a ring camera or some kind of security, I think it was a security camera. She must have had a, a fairly nice security system because she has some angles of this deck as it slowly deteriorates and collapses. And this was a really well put together deck, really nice looking deck, except for one thing that they did that they probably shouldn't have. And it was unbeknownst to them that maybe something was removed. There could have been a center post removed or something on this, but we'll, we'll get into that in a minute. Let's go ahead and roll the footage and we'll go from there. Okay, so that video just shows the deck being used two and a half, three weeks before things started collapsing. So now I found a video where she's talking about after it collapses. Here's a timeline oh, here and the ring go. camera footage only goes back a couple months, so we'll start at April 18th. Then May 15th, May 31st. I posted a video yesterday of May 24th and 25th, June 3rd, June 5th, June 8th, June 9th, and then Tuesday, June 10th, where I'm standing over the railing looking over, and this is the difference between the 9th and the 10th again. I was on the deck with my daughter and I decided to take a video to send to my husband since he was away in Chicago, showing him that the railings were leaning down and that the deck was probably starting to sag. And over here, I was showing him that on the side, it looks like it's also bulging out. After that, I told my daughter it's probably time to get off the deck because it doesn't look right and it doesn't look safe. The next day on June 11th, all of us were out. No one was home for the entire day until later on in the day and no one went into the backyard or onto the deck. And thank goodness nobody went out there that day because things started to change very quickly. Huh. You can see it slowly going down and then it starts to form a crack and then that crack gets even bigger and then it keeps going down until seven something in the morning. Before Tuesday, June 10th, we did not see any signs. There was no moving of the deck. There was no bouncing. There was no spongy feeling. There was no squeaking. There was no creaking. If we saw the signs and knew something was wrong, then we wouldn't have let our family use the deck. I'm sure people are gonna come back and say, well, I could see it sagging from the first clip. Okay, that's fair. That's probably because you're watching this video and looking out for but it. I guarantee you, if you were living here, just living your everyday life and not looking for those signs, you would have never noticed any minimal sagging. That video shows a time lapse of how the deck started to collapse. Now I'm going to play a video of her talking about after the fact. So there's a quick after the fact, and we'll watch that one real quick. It's really bad. Look at the rot. Look at all this rot. Oh look, a wine glass survived. The fan is hanging. I think we need Mom. to... Mom. Yes, do not go on the deck. Okay, well, I don't want you down there. Ah, oh, man. Holy. Things are still falling apart. <laughs> That's so much worse than I thought. I will run. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to play a couple more quick clips, and then we're going to discuss this, okay? So this is after all the crap has fallen off the deck. And basically, it's all sitting in the lower patio area. And this is just her taking a video from the top of the deck. And the whole thing's about to collapse. And I think the last one... So then it looks like... When we like... bought this house five years ago, the previous owners left behind the backyard site plans. These plans were stamped by a landscape architect. Unfortunately, there were no engineering plans left behind. But according to this, the four columns that were holding up our deck were the original ones from 2003 when they built the house. And when they built the original deck, there was a total of seven columns. When they remodeled their backyard in 2014, they removed three of the columns, and two of those columns were along the span where the deck collapsed. 
And yeah. also, according to this, they added new wrapped engineered LVL beams. We demolished our deck and we still have to take this side down, but I'm glad it's still up so I can do my own investigation. So from what I can see, see these wetness. are three LVLs put together. And I also found these markings on it. It says Voice Cascade, which is the manufacturer, Versalam 2.0-3100. And there's markings on the other side that say 2.1E, which looks like this right here. Okay, so those lambs are not designed to get wet. You could see from the evidence of her videos that there's moisture trapped in between those lambs and through the lambs going all the way through to the bottom of those laminated beams. So that may have been an engineer to prove, but it's, you just heard two of the posts were removed. Somebody took two of the posts that were supporting that area down and between that and the moisture getting in between, they do make pressure treated LVLs, but I don't believe these are pressure treated LVLs. So they just started to rot and decay. Every time moisture came in through the top of the deck, it went right in between the layers of these uh, plied beams that they put together. And, and it probably to the wouldn't guide, cover the on span. Page seven, Versalam LVL are intended only for applications that assure no exposure to weather or the elements and an environment that is free from moisture from any source or any pest, organism, or substance which degrades or damages wood or wow. glue bonds. So Unbelievable. basically, whoever built this used interior LVL beams. They knew they were using an interior. Okay, so I didn't even finish watching this video. I This is the one video I hadn't watched of the series because I just saw it as it popped up on her page. And I just told you what I thought. And she did her own investigation. This woman's very smart. She she knows what she's talking about. And these LVLs were not designed to be outside. And if you were going to do that, for goodness sake, put some waterproof membrane tape over the top of them. First of all, you don't use them in an exterior set. But if, if you're going to do laminated anything together, put some G-tape on top of it. Wrap the sides of the beans before you put your fascia mount on so that just in case water or moisture gets in there, it doesn't create this system. Now, personally, I'd probably rather use a pressure treated glue lamb instead of LVLs, but it kind of depends on where you're located and your engineer and what's being used. But man, LVL I can't believe Because they tried that they to protect it that. using Red Guard and they only put it on the outside of the three, not even in between each LVL. So any water or moisture that fell in between those seams of the three LVLs put together ended up getting trapped in there and ended up decaying from the inside. The front face of the LVLs, as well as the bottoms, were covered with fascia. And even if we took one of the ceiling panels off from under the deck and looked at it from the inside, that side of the LVL looked okay. This is the side that the joists were on, and you can't really tell from this side if it's rotting or not. All the decay was happening where we couldn't see it. But it makes me wonder, did the previous owners know that this is what they installed? Or were they just completely oblivious to what the builder was doing? Wow. Well, that kind of seals it right there. Uh, Valerie House, Valerie underscore House, uh, thank you for documenting this and doing your research. That is exactly what happened. I pr that was my prediction of what, what happened and why this failed. And she did an excellent job of explaining that. So if you go through, go to her page, probably follow just for the heck of it. First of all, I'm glad nobody got hurt, that nobody was home when this deck collapsed. It wasn't a violent collapse. So even if it did, you know, some people may have rolled off and fell off the deck and probably could have got hurt, but nobody was killed and that's awesome. Uh, unfortunately, it sounds to me like they didn't use pressure treated LVLs. They didn't seal them up or use any kind of waterproof membrane tape on top of the LVLs to keep the moisture from going through. That slowly just will create rot and decay. And then that's why I use so much membrane tape. I have cases of it sitting right over here. That's all G tape, you guys. And it's there for certain reasons. We have all kinds of different G tapes that we use for all different kinds of applications, but it's always to protect the wood framing or the side of a house or a ledger or a, to flash something off. That's why it's called waterproof membrane tape because it creates a waterproof membrane, right? It's always an extra layer of protection for us. Not only are we putting on the top surfaces where all that moisture came in, we're also doing around the sides where we might be installing a lot of screws into fascia or something like that. That product is self-sealing. So when you put a screw through it, it seals it off at the point of entry, okay? Don't allow that to happen. And if you're gonna do a long span, you gotta make sure you check with a structural engineer to make sure that that span will handle that additional load.
if you don't have that math on a piece of paper stamped by your engineer, then you're at risk. And then if you're putting interior products outside, you're also at a serious risk. I've seen this happen more than twice. This happens all the time. So I really want you guys to be diligent and make sure you're doing your research. Make sure that if you're curious or concerned about something that one of your contractors is installing outside of your house, don't be afraid to go out and ask them. Don't be afraid to say, stop. I want to see proof that this is waterproof or water resistant or approved for exterior use uh, before you guys install it. If it's not, make them replace it because it could be a problem in the future if they're using the wrong kind of materials. So make sure that your contractor is licensed, bonded, and insured, that they're qualified to do this work for you. Make sure that you know those spans because that was over a 20 foot span from end to end. And with all that extra weight coming off in the middle and then getting wet and it just started sagging. And then it looks like it, it came off in one area near the post. And I don't know if maybe they had uh, some of those seams. Maybe there was a seam right there in one of the LVLs. If you're gonna do that, do them all the way across. You can get LVLs as long as you need them, but make sure they're pressure treated, make sure they're proper length, make sure you're, you're using the right amount of plies which means how many how many of those you're sandwiching together and screwing them all. And then make sure you're doing a prescriptive fastening method with an approved fastener to screw all that stuff together. I would suggest you look at Fasten Master and some of their products for applying the fasteners and the load path that you're gonna use those for as far as the screw patterns, things like that. All that stuff matters. It's all fun and games until somebody gets hurt. That's all I have to say about that, guys, but I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button, hit that bell icon. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Have a great day.